Assalamu alaikum This is Abdul Mahmud Hello viewers today I will show you how to create mail server without DNS configuration So first of all we have to go terminal and then I will check my host name So it is localhost.local .local domain First of all I have to check my mount directory this it's showing not mounted it was not permanent mount that is why it's gone so i have to check my directory what was my directory okay it was dvd so i will mount again with this directory okay now for mail service i have to install postfix okay okay completed okay it's completed okay now i have to go in postfix directory so cd it's uh, i have to go in this folder after installing this package this folder or directory will create automatically and then i have to edit main.cf it's is configuration file press i to figure out and i have to uncheck few lines here so i have to go from first Oh, okay. It's on 76 line. I have to uncheck this line and I will put there my host name. It was localhost.local domain. Okay, here in at status bar, you can see line number. And then go down on 83. You have to put your domain name again and then my origin it's 99 just uncheck this hash uncheck this line and then on 113 you have to uncheck this line and uncheck 165 number line go down go down Oh, okay in 264 number line I have to put my local IP address number it's I will change it in a C class IP 192.168.10.10 and CID will be 24 okay i have to uncomment 419 number line and in mail dear 
my new mail will go and then save and exit so i'm gonna check my ip address let's see it's 192.168.1.1 on Etsy folder sysconfig I'll change my IP Ten dot ten. Okay. So I'm uh, so I just enabled postfix service and i just start postfix and then i can check the status of postfix sorry the status postfix oh okay it's active and running so let's install telnet So now, for sending email, I have to type telnet localhost SMTP or you can type 25, you know, 25 is port number of SMTP and then EHLO localhost dot local domain enter. So now, mail from root oh i'm sorry first of all we have to create two user and then I'm going to set password for user one and obviously for user two also. Now Telnet localhost space SMTP EHLO localhost dot local domain mail one user one RCPT recipient to user 2 now data hey this is from user 1 and then in next line you have to put dot full stop and then QUIT this move quit okay i'm going to clear and from root directory i'm going to my user cd home see there is user 2 
and this is the folder where mails will come and then new oh yes this is the mail okay let's check yes hey this is from user one okay i think you have got all of things and i'm sorry i will not edit this video for lack of my time if you need any assistance just uh, put a comment in comment box so thank you thank you guys for watching this video in my next video i will show you how to create ftp server